This story is about one of the first times that I started having sex. I end up talking to this dude. He was a way more experienced dude. We make a date. I'm looking him in his eyes all deep and intense. Oh, he cocked my legs open as far as they can fucking go. I'm looking at him. I ain't moaning. I ain't telling him shit. I'm just looking at him. Just rocking and looking at him and breathing. <sighs> And he told me, he's like, man, look, I want to change positions. Get on all fours. I thought like a motherfucking table. Back straight to the motherfucker. So he like, man, arch your back. He say, arch your back. Ah. He say, nah, baby, arch your back. I arch my back. This is an arch. He tell me, he said, that's not a fucking arch. I said, okay, well, you show me. He crawl up on the bed on all fours, plant his hands, plant his knees, cross his feet at the ankles, and he put the deepest dip in his back that he can muster. And his ass is tooted up like it's finna shoot to the motherfucking moon. I was impressed. Who you been arching your motherfucking back for? I asked him that question. The motherfucking man to me and put me out his house. Okay. Give it up one time for the show. Where they gon' shoot from the hill? I say two times for the house. Give us a moment to sip. It's not for the faint at heart. Cause they caught it like they see it. Give me a gunshot for the truth. Not always want it, but need it. Tune in weekly to get some game from the Montoyas and Reese. Good for perspective, some commentary and a word from the street. Add some humor, some music talking. We done had our fun, but the show is never complete without mentioning black.com. Shout out to all the supporters. People who keep this afloat Patiently waiting for that new show notification to post If this your first time listening Take this move and just sit slow And consider this your welcome To the Shoot From The Hill Show And what a time my damies Welcome to the Shoot From The Hill Show With your boy my toys And the recent house man Another sporadic show As we like to do you know how we do Up it. Up man. Y'all should be used to it by now. Yeah, that's, that's life is life and on us, man. And we getting it in when we can. Uh, 559-825-7468. That's 559 shot That's how you call us and get it off your chest there, man. Uh, t to be determined on the website still. That shit is gone, too. Ah, yeah. It's out of there, but it, it's, it's it not gone for back. long. I, I, I see what you're that doing. That shit been gone for a year. That's called um, uh, reverses. That ain't reverse nothing. Reverse I, psychology. When I was sharing the show, I used to try and tweet the shit out of. Now I don't have nothing to tweet. I guess I can tweet the Instagram page. I guess that's more important anyway. I mean, we get more. more hey, which one of these is mine? Uh, you. Uh, Am I two? No. Really? Yeah. How you, do you hear yourself? I, 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 I can hear myself. I hear myself. Maybe I'm the one. Check, check, check. Oh, yeah, that's me. So I'm two. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, yo, yo, yo. I guess. Fuck it. It is. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, all right. Turn all me right. down a little bit. Damn. Yeah. I shot a lot of guns in my life. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, plus we're getting old, man. That's, that's part of it. Um. Anyway, man, got me a little joke for you. Go ahead. All right, man. Street dude on Knucklehead. Really a country cat. Uh, he decides he's going to change his life and go to church. Okay. So he goes to the church. The pastor's up there talking about, you know, ghosts and you know, the Holy Ghost and, and evil ghosts. Mm -hmm. And uh, he asked, anybody have sex, ever had sex with a goat, ghost? And uh, the street dude walked in, said, yeah, I had sex with a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Okay. I hit all the buttons on that. Yeah. But yeah, man. Back in here, dog. Y'all back in been here. A, been a long month for you, boy, man. For you? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I got to gotta start it out, man. Uh, R.I.P. to my Uncle Junior. Okay. Th that's what you should have played the video. That's what we, That's what I said we should have did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Should have paid some homage to that. Okay, so now there's, there's, there's the old man. There's Randall. Yep. And then there's Lester. Lester. And then there's Junior. Okay, who who's oldest? Who's young? Yo, Jun, junior, dad. Junior is the oldest. Okay. My my dad is the baby. Okay. So he's watching all of them go. Mm hmm It's kind of rough, man. And, and Uncle Les, he come in and take care of the business. Yeah. Because that's the kind of guy he is. Hey, that's important. You need one of them. So we've been watching Uncle Junior circle the drain for years now. It's We've seen it come. Matter of fact, one of my aunties passed, their sister Passed before he did. And the last time we took a picture, Uncle Les was like, let's get a picture together before Uncle Junior passes. Mm -hmm. 
Then come to find out, my auntie passed before Uncle Junior. Mm. Caught us all off guard. Yeah. And so, See, I don't want to say the wrong one. Then I put somebody, mama, in the grave. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Okay, now who, yeah. okay, who, what, what female passed? My auntie Ethel. Now who's her kids? Uh, Don, the, the Atlanta crew. Okay, okay, okay. Don was there when you could stop by the house. Well, that was her sitting at the table yeah. looking at pictures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. And what brought her in time? The, I've seen her on pictures. The death. She came in because my dad got all these pictures. Yeah. The, uh, oh, oh, we trying to figure out who's who. All black and white ass pictures. Mm-hmm. And so she came through and chron- chronologized them. All. I'm saying that word wrong. Put them but in she, chronological order. Not even that. Just, 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 just to put them in record. Okay. A digital record. Okay. Look so, at Mouth City. Yeah. All that. Yeah. So. She came and she she's gonna be like the uh the oracle of the family. She knows all the business. Oh really? Got to give her that. She she put time into that. But uh, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, man. So she came down and, and and the other other family came through, and uh we went up there to the Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Mm-hmm. Oh man, the weather came in on the sideways. That, while that we got there. to happen. Yeah. Well, the Uncle Julie going out in style. He should. And that weather knocked out power for, for folks. My old man's house went he, down. He, he was letting you know he's watching y'all. Yeah, that's how he took it. You know, yeah, you gonna get that? Oak and Eden, in by the finish. Now, what makes Oak and Eden so, not that, well, I did interrupt you, but uh, this is uh, Cabernet Steeped Oak, bourbon and vine, bourbon whiskey finished with a Cabernet Steeped French Oak spiral of wood in here. So I guess supposed to soak up some of that flavor. Then when it's when you're done with this bottle, take the spiral out and put it in another bottle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you gonna do that with your infinity? I am gonna do that. Yeah. Have you been working on that? No, it's empty, but I'm finna start one. Damn, boy, you went through it. What the hell? Yeah, I hear that. Shit don't sit long around here. <laughs> I'm, I'm but join the crowd. I mean, you know, you preaching to the choir on that. But yeah, man, Uncle Junior's death came and went. We saw it coming. It was uh one thing about Uncle Junior I could say is that nobody really had much good to say about him. That's fucked up. I mean, it's it's just the truth, man. You know, you don't want to get up there and be lying. So y'all got up there and told him where he wasn't shit. No, Uncle Les handled most of it. And then my cousin Teresa out in Vegas, FaceTime Don, and she had some words to say. Good? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it wasn't bad. All right, so let me tell you what I do know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I've been telling, you know, uh, no, knowing the Montoyas, I'm, I've become familiar with some of his family goings. And uh, not all, and but I do know a little bit. And the Montoyas told me about his Uncle Junior, you know. And uh, the Montoyas and his daddy, they like to roast people. So it wasn't easy for them to go on somebody I'd never met named Uncle Junior. So they said, go in on him and uh, come across this video. <laughs> yeah. And that yeah. video, uh, somehow, do you record this video? Uh, my cousin gave me, my cousin Mike gave me that video, but it was Uncle Junior's, this bride or his wife, or he flew in from a mail order. Mail order. They didn't, it didn't last long. Okay. But it was at a family reunion, and uh, he's sitting in a swinging chair. No, no okay. This, this, how it went was he was he was walking through the backyard at my grandmother's house. Okay, Rosenberg, Texas, and uh, so she's she is filming him, okay, for whatever, for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. He walking around there, and there's this old swing, bench swing. You know, it's wide enough to fit a couple people. So he decides he's going to sit his fat ass. No, he plopped his fat ass. <laughs> well, he, whatever he did, yeah. didn't last long because that fence, I mean, that swing broke. Boom. Bam! And it was something that you would see on America's Funniest Home Video. Yes, it definitely was that. And, and uh, you even got offered money for it. Yeah, man, I put that thing on YouTube and... uh, <laughs> You a fucking I asshole. I think it's True TV. I want to say it was True TV offered me $300 for that thing. And I said, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> So I went I to do, take that show quick. I, I did some research. I'm like, how much? How much do people get paid for submitting these videos to these TV channels? They get three hundred. I give me that. Man, I'm seeing twelve hundred, fifteen. So you had I didn't get shit. Well, first off, 
if I'd have took the deal, I'd have had to get Uncle Junior to sign the release. Nigga. You, I, I would have said, hey, Uncle Junior, I need you to uh, sign this saying we related. <laughs> no, I didn't want to go through that. Okay. And, you know, that would have that been, you know, pulling your hair out. So I was like, yeah, I, I did some research. And people get more than $300 for the okay. movie. Well, our budget only allows for that. All right, well, good luck. Mm. Peace out. I, I would have took your shit. Drive a hard bargain. I would have took your shit. And I got sued for it. My who? Keep my, me and Uncle Junior. And we would just split the profit. Well, we'd have got more than uh three hundred dollars. Okay. Well nigga. No, screw that. But, but uh, the video but list. the video I mean, went man. he swum and fell. And then who actually was he okay? That lady that male order bride. And what did he say? He said, No, nah, I ain't no, okay. No, he said he said, nah, <laughs> she hell said, nah. She said, she said, she said hey. He said, Damn. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Move, 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 move. Yeah, said, <laughs> she said, You okay? He said, No, nah, I ain't okay. <laughs> <laughs> And that's when I cut it right there. So uh, another time, uh, I, uh, you know, we talk about Uncle Les a lot. Yeah. And mainly because he's a military officer and a black military officer. So I'm always intrigued by their training. Yeah. And, you know, how how great they have to be, you know, at mm-hmm. planning and, and stuff like that. So, I, I, you know, I had opportunity to speak with Uncle Les and we went throughout his career. Yeah. You picked his brain. Yeah. So, uh during this time, I'm really enjoying myself. Uncle Les gets a call. Yeah. Is is Uncle Junior. Mm-hmm. And he ain't feeling good. Right. So I'm gonna say, hey, I knew it was gonna happen, but I gotta go. He takes off and he has to go get him some meds and stuff like that. Yeah. Wherever Uncle uh Junior was. Yeah, he lived in Manville. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What was he living at? Like he was living in like a manufactured what do you call those? Senior sit senior No, he was in a home, but it's not a mobile home. But it's something like that. Okay. But it, yeah, he was, he was down in Manville, man. By himself? Yeah. Yeah. See? How often did he come around? Uh, twice a year, maybe three times a year. But I know I know that, uh, you know, <laughs> your dad couldn't take much of it. Mm-mm. But, but oh, we used to I have feel like the last others. time it wasn't bad, though, you said. It, it was better. Okay. It was better. But yeah, we used to take over and unders on how long <laughs> before they get into it. Because one time. Hold on now. And, and Rand's youngest son is named after him, right? No. Who's my, name? Uh, my Uncle Junior is named after my grandfather. Okay. And But the, my, my brother's youngest has the same initials. Okay. Okay. But not the same name. Okay. All yeah. right. So let, them, let me not fuck that up. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, it's a tangled web, dog. Yeah. Tangled web, man. But yeah. He was, Didn't we call him on the show one time? He called. Yeah. He called me, I think, yeah. during the show. I mean, that's when we was doing it at the old man house, talking about COVID, COVID and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he's a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Around here, man. We just, Wonder where you get that from. Oh, not from him. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing, the last thing I'll say is I, I, I uh, when we was going to the, I bought the urn. I bought the urn off the internet. Okay. And had had the information, what if words. I had his name. Uh, Engraved. Grave. Great uh, birth date and death date. Sunrise and, and sunset. Yeah, and and you know usually the date he got his wings, all that. Yeah, yeah, and then you're supposed to put something, something good. inspirational or uh, good about him on the urn. And so I'm sitting there spitballing with the old man because he's he's starting to like trip a little bit. So I'm sitting there. Your daddy? Just, yeah, not not in a bad way, but you could tell he's rubbing his head and like, what do we do next? What do we do next? And uh, we knew he was getting cremated, so we got to buy the urn. He trying to figure out where to buy the urn. I just got on the internet and started finding them. Yeah. So I found one, and I was like, so what do we put on it? What do we put on it? Uh, what, what can we say about him that's not bad? I said, uh, he wasn't that bad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he don't have any kids. He does. Where are they? One of them is in, Ro- in Rosenberg. Okay. That sounds like that should be their job. Yeah, but now. Okay, well, did y'all call him? Do they know their daddy passed? Yeah, man, one of them was there. I met him uh, about 12, 15 years ago. Okay. Yeah, he about, he about 40. You have him on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have his contact like that. Yeah. You anyway, want me to find it? Go for it. I mean, Uncle Les got it. You know, <laughs> but that's how that is. So he has one kid or two? No. He got another one in Vegas somewhere. Somewhere. 
Yeah. So ball about that with Ken folk don't even know it. Yeah. Well, he know it. But yeah, that's how it is. That they reach out to each other? No. Well, hey, here's my thing. I, I kind of agree with that. Family is, you don't, you choose your friends because y'all think more alike than family. You can't so. choose your family, dog. Yeah. Everybody got an Uncle Junior in their family, man. Yeah. You're happy to see him for a minute, and then you you realize why it's been a minute since you've seen him. Now, you, you now when as a kid, y'all had to do these fucking, like, house clearing drills or some shit, right? We had a gun drill. <laughs> <laughs> went clearing no house. It was a gun drill. I've told this story before, but yeah, man. Uh, Legendary. My old man, he, he taught me and my brother this drill. He got a shotgun in the restroom, and uh, somebody knock on the door, don't answer it, especially if it's Uncle Junior, because he, he, he was on drugs and stealing pretty heavy. So if he come by, don't answer the door. If some kind of way he gets in the house, ran, you run, go jump in the tub, money, you get the shotgun, <laughs> load it, Sit on the edge of the tub and point it at the door. Rack one. Rack one. If somebody come in there, blow. Just how it's supposed to go. How old y'all when y'all did this? Oh, I was in third grade. So I probably need to be teaching Nolan, huh? Yeah. Yeah. They old enough now. And all the sticks you got around here. I do. Hey, they both of them know, should, should know they weigh around a pistol. Sometimes I be losing them. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, well, the other day, we had a guy come here and check on our AC. And my okay. wife fucked around. He's a little dickhead, apparently. Was it a random check? Did he go out? It, it was one of them, let's just get a service because okay. since we've been in the house, we haven't had a check. Yeah. And uh, my wife, like, called me, like, hey, can you let the garage? I forgot the AC man come. I'm like, okay, shit. Damn, but I didn't want to do that. I'm like, where your mom? So she, first thing she didn't get in t- contact with her mom, she finally did. Mom's on the way, but I'm, tell, I'm telling my super, hey, man, I might have to run to the house. <laughs> Tell my super, I might have to run to the house to, uh, you no, know, to, uh, to go see the see this yeah. AC guy. Mother law gets here, meets him, has some jugs, uh, give and, and gives him the key to get in the attic upstairs. And so, oh it, man, you got a key to get in the attic? Yeah. Okay. Cause you walk in. Oh, it's a walk in door. Okay. Uh, humble it's, Brad. Just like it's not a it's not how the house built. Uh, so. The guy leaves with our keys, or he don't give them back to my mother-in-law. So my mother, my wife gets home. She's she's mad, and my mother-in-law said the dude's a little asshole. She felt, and so I'm like, all right, sweetheart, go look down there by that door that go in the garage. It's a backpack, a cigar bag. Mm. I got a gun in there. She said, I don't see no gun. I said, it's a, it's a golden black one. She starts, she said, oh, it's in here. I'm like, who's good? Oh, that nigga took one of my sticks. He ran off with the stick. Yeah, sometimes you a have gold one. and black one at that. I know, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I let everybody see that one. You I, might, you might not need to hide that one. <laughs> you even need to see that greatness. Yeah, they do. Come on, man. Need go shoot that bitch. Was Wait it a forty? Nah, I, I'm. A, I got one forty in this house. Okay. Everything else is a nine. All right. All right. What's the brand on that? The Glock forty three X. Oh yeah, you Glock guy. I mean, I'm really a sick guy, but Glocks are are easy. As a veteran, you get a discount on them. Is that right? Yeah. I ain't know that. Pretty good discount, too. All right. Yeah, almost like 20% off. Damn. It's a good discount. So, I might you can buy invest. two each year oh, on yeah? discount, yeah. Well, I mean. I you don't... can buy the same two guns every year. <laughs> yeah, but why you got to do that? I'm just saying if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> you got more than you need now. You need I, to be selling them. No, I sold some. I know. I and just, it. just, just, uh, just go buy nothing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I do. There is Springfield came out with this uh, gun. It's it's a it's a nine, a uh, full size pistol, but it, it holds twenty rounds. Okay, that's a motherfucker. I wouldn't mind getting. Hey man, you can throw a lot of lot of a lot of shots to some people with that. You can suppress a fire. That's right. Yeah, unless but, you just eagle eyed. You know. Well, you can do that too. See, I like to make sure she did. I, I yeah, I want to make sure you out of there. Well, I, when I hit you, you gonna get hit. Mm-mm. I'm gonna stand over you. <laughs> it's gonna be an investigation <laughs> anyway. Might as well. I mean, uh, I'm make lay, it count. I'm gonna lay two. Mm-hmm. You both gonna hit. Yeah. Maybe look, a, look at dog. Maybe a three tap. Long live dog. Long I'm live sorry. Uncle Junior. Dog. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shout out to Uncle Junior, man. Shout out to Uncle Junior. He was one of a kind. He was one of a kind. That's from what I take. 
That's all uh, you can say. Sound like he should not have been the older brother. He should have been the younger brother. Maybe things may have turned out different. Maybe you think? I don't know, man. I mean, oh, he, the, he the way was destined to be he, who he was. You think life was written and it was just supposed to be that some way? Some stuff is just how it go, but a lot of stuff was nurtured. And the way the way I, it, it was told to me is that he was the first boy, so he got preferential treatment that way. Exactly. So if he was the third boy, he might not have got. He would have had the two older brothers to give him a little. Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe, maybe that might have added to it. Yeah. Yeah. But he was a marine, so he had maybe. a military send off. Yeah. You know, okay. That was kind of dope. Twenty one gun salute. You know what's funny? You say that. When that weather started coming in, after they played tap, before they played taps, boom, boom, boom. I thought there was some gun shooting. Oh, yeah. That was thunder, dog. Mm. And then when taps ended, boom, boom, boom. And, and even the Marines that was folding the flag, they jumped. <laughs> when, it, when, it, when that shit hit the second time, I said, was that was that planned? And, but at this time, the weather the rain's coming in sideways. You found out, no, nah, that was just thunder. That was, that was Uncle Junior doing that. Yeah, when Gee, I yeah. when I was in the military, that was a detail you got put on for like three weeks. Yeah, and uh, any anywhere in that area, a military a service, uh, a army person passed, and they wanted a, a military send off. Yeah, then you, y'all had to go. So they was going all kind of backwoods country places in Georgia. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm I reckon the closest uh, uh, service, whoever uh, closest Marine base. They're on some type of detail, and they come out and do the funerals. Yeah. It feels like it was when I was in there. Yeah, well, they was there. They did the whole slow walk, slow step, mm-hmm. you know, pivot. All pivot. That. Yeah, all that. Parade rest. Parade rest. Snap to attention. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> to the half step. March. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. Shout out to Uncle right. Junior again, man. Uh, so shout out to Uncle Junior, uh, R.I.P. R.I.H. and all that kind of motherfucking shit. And blessings to your family, my brother. I know you ain't in all that, but I'm yeah. sending them anyway. Appreciate it, man. Sending them anyway. Getting older, dog. My mic soften up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the folks go. Yeah, dog. Ain't no good. So now this service. Damn, I'm trying to move on, but the service was where was that at? At the Veterans Memorial. Okay. What did y'all do after y'all eating? Y'all just well, no, we shot back because they didn't bury the the, the urn in front yeah, of us. Right, right. They they said uh, with this weather coming in, y- y'all free to go or y'all can come watch the burial of the urn. I hightail my ass out of there. I shouldn't say hightail because the way that weather was coming, you in the truck, nigga. Got in that truck and got busy. Who? But I had my son and my youngest nephew in the back, and they were scared. You could see them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did he have a shirt on? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, they had shirts on, man. Okay, you know they normally not, but yeah, dog, they were scared. I could see them kids in their face, the, the, the fear. So I had to hold on tight, dog. Hold your hold your own, dog. Hold your face, hold your cool for these kids back here because that thunder and my my son, he's so expressive. Mm-hmm. He wears his his feelings on his sleeve. You know exactly how he's feeling when you look at it. Mm. So I could see it in his face, man. I said. Kept trying to say positive shit. Yeah. You know, just to get him out of that. Yeah, man. We can move on, though. I don't want to keep But I'm saying, there. y'all didn't come back and we, we came back to the old man's house, but he didn't have no power. Oh, shit. So I got back first. How he had a generator? He done. Oh, you fucked that no, up at the Texan game? No, nah, that was mine. Okay. But yeah. Uh, I just sat in the dark and told jokes? We said we left, we manually lift the garage doors up, told jokes. All right. Played heads up. With the cell phone, it's a dope family game. Bro. I think I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 cousin Eddie came through. He moved. Oh, around. Eddie. Yeah, you know Eddie. I do not. You know, know Eddie from around the way. Oh, nigga, you know Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Eddie. <laughs> he, How he talk? He, he talk regularly, though. He's not country or nothing. Nah, what's the one that you can't understand what he's saying? Oh, that's no, that's that's he's dead too. What? Yeah, Eric. Yeah. yeah, this is my old man's homie. He used to work. They worked together. And he passed. Crazy. Yeah, dog, about a year ago. Oh, nigga. that's what I'm saying, man. Folks is dropping. God so I'm, I'm starting. Damn. To, I'm starting old Tasmanian devil. Shit. The fuck. Now, how you? Oh, how I missed that. Yeah, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. How would he talk? Yeah, <laughs> hey, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> He was the black broom house. Oh, king of the shit. hill. 
God, a boom high? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, move along here in the Shoot From Him show. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we took, went down that rabbit hole with the D. Montoya's uh, kid folk. Uh, but sometimes when you get going, it's hard to stop. All right, yeah. uh, Mother's Day passed a while back. But Father's Day is coming. Uh, what'd you do? Can you remember what you did for your wife and your daughter on Mother's Day? And your mama. Uh, we went to my mom's, me and my son. Okay, what about uh, your daughter? She went to her mama. I'm not sure what she did. Damn, what did you do for your daughter on Mother's Day? She a mama. I sent out the, them Happy Mother's Day. Wow, oh, nigga, that shit is whack. Nigga, go buy your daughter some dog. Nigga, look here, man. Treat her right, dog. No, buying some ain't that ain't. And I'm not right. saying buying nothing great. You know? I'm just saying, dog. Look here, man. Take out to eat. I have one mama. Okay. The rest of them I sent a, a Happy Mother's Day to. All right. That's how I feel about that. Nigga, well, I cook for my uh, I cook for my uh. Do we need to stop? No. It said lost connection. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh. No, you see that 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 circle arrow. What is that? It said it's being used by another client. I don't know. I don't know what that means. You got the other iPad in there or something? No, I do not. Uh, uh we back in action. All right, back in action. So I, I cook for my wife, my mother. Oh, the internet just went out, period. Uh, so that don't need internet I'm taking. Nah. It'll be a heck of a uh, I cook uh, salmon, shrimp, chicken. Uh, oh, it went shit. down. They they was uh, ha- really happy with the meal. Salmon and chicken? Salmon, chicken. Okay. Yeah. All right. In, in shrimp, the house? all in the crib. All right, man. Yeah, go ahead, uh, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Jambalaya. But you are a chef, though. Nigga, I, 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 I cooked a lot of shit that day. Yeah. So shit, nigga got busy in that motherfucker. There you go. I'm sure they appreciated that. They did. They all, all the mamas came through? My wife, my mother-in-law, and my, and my mama. Yeah. Yeah, they came. Yeah. They was out here. Shout okay. out to you, mama. I saw a shout out to, to me on, uh, I was on Facebook. Or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, whatever, when we, we did that talk on Instagram. Oh, really? And he posted somewhere. She oh, said, God. She said, what's up, shorty? <laughs> and I remember you told me that what she called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, shout out to the mothers, man. Hey, so how do you like this? This, I see what you're saying. It's he- you can taste that wood. It's heavy like a... I don't know. Uh, it's oak, not heavy, like a, but it don't make me want to run back to it. That's yeah. Sure. It tastes good when it's... like that's. I like a chill on my shit. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it ain't... All right, we'll switch it up after the break. Uh, moving along here, so uh, Mother's Mother Mother's Day happened, and if y'all got any ideas y'all want us to try, let us know. I'm willing to do anything on that day for for them three, because I hold them dear, near and dear to me. Hey man, how many days do they get now? We fresh off Valentine's Day. That's be for your old lady. All right, you yeah. got you only born from one woman. Yeah, that should be the mother you you uh, uplift on that day. No. Cause yeah. ain't no, if I don't uplift my mother in law, nobody else will. Okay, well you take that on. That's cool. What I do, leave her at home, and I appreciate it because she's the reason I have my wife. Okay, well yeah, if you can justify it, that was a that was a good one. Man, that was a Hall of Fame uh, captain right there. I'm just saying. Hold up, dog. That's true. That was good. So uh, <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we initially started the show, uh. We talked about uh, Uncle Les being here, mm-hmm. and uh, Uncle Les called me the other day. Mm. Uh, yeah, so he talked to me, and he was checking on me, and he was just telling me, you know, he listened to the show and he heard about what happened to my wife. Yeah, and uh, you know, and that was cool, man. I, I did, I definitely appreciate that. Definitely a kind gesture. Yeah, and then I got to see him when I went over to the old man house. Yeah, I think that been I, you was overdue. I was. It's been a, has it been a year? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, longer than that. That's crazy, dog. Yeah. What my old man do? He hit you about a pellet grill. <laughs> he said, yeah, I swung and missed on that. I thought that he thought that you was the one with the pellet grill. Yo, daddy think I have a pellet grill? Yeah, he asked you about that. Man, that's that was hilarious. Because I got two homies that come by every now and again. And they got pellet grill? Shout out to Cisco Grizzly. And shout out to my boy Dale Punkin Thomas. How Dale doing? 
He's straight. The last time I talked to him, they 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 went out of town somewhere. Him and his old lady. They active. Oh yeah. They they kind of like Uncle Les. They just be everywhere. Mm, that's good to be. Yeah. Good to be. Uh, it's good around. to be in the company of folks like that. Have yeah. folks I consider my friends like that. There. Yeah. That's dope, man. Uh. All right, man. I got to see your grandson too. That was pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Check that out. Oh. See, I was going to bring it back to Uncle Junior, but now let's, let's keep going. Let's stop. Right? Yeah. We, we not going to be doing that. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> my daughter is 15. Okay. She had her 15th birthday the other day. Okay. About two weeks ago, uh, she turned 15. Good deal. And she, typically, we've had pool parties and all of our friends and their kids. And mm. it's kind of like, I'm, I know, I remember when I was a kid, like, hey, man, that's your friend. I don't mess with them. I yeah. want my friends. So, she wanted her friends from cheer. She's on the cheer team at her high school. So she wanted some of those girls, and then she wanted two of her other friends. So we had her and six of her friends here. Uh, they, it, it was a great turnout. Uh, they, I, I gave them $15 a piece. They got to play left, right, center, and the winner won $100. Man, that's funny. They was playing left, right, center last night at, at the old man's house. Oh, really? Yeah. Who all played? Uh, my mom came through. Your mama came to your daddy house? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Um, Grown ups was playing? Well, my, my oldest nephew turned, he graduated. Did he? Yeah. So he had friends and family. That, now his name is Ro- Trey. Trey, okay. He's he's Rand Jr. Rand, oh, he, Rand the third. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay. Hold, my dad is Rand. Okay, hold, hold that thought. All right. Okay, so the girls had fun. Uh, my wife yeah. and my wife laid it out for him. Okay. Uh, and Taylor's mom and her husband, they they came. Uh, my boy E. Mays came, <laughs> and it was getting late. He was like, what the fuck they doing here? Yeah. I'm like, they going to spend the night. He said, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's all good. Everybody leading a good place, and it's cool. It's all right. So, yeah, uh, Taylor's mom and her uh, husband came by, there and they spent the night, and they took all That's the girls the next, uh, the next day. <laughs> it was a good time. That's uh, amazing. And I, I was on them seltzers. Cause it was hot. Hold up, Celsius go down. You had the Topo Chicos. Nah, I had the uh, White Claws. Oh, you should get the Topo Chico down, nigga. Do you drink them? I drink. Um, try them when they hot. It's good. I drink. I drink the non-alcoholic Celsius. Oh, I do that. Yeah, they, they call it tumblers or rumblers or something like that. Oh, really? H E B Celsius. Yeah. Oh, my daughter's fifteen now. Uh, I yeah. think today when I saw, her, I fuck around. I thought I was gonna whoop her ass, but we'll see. Nah, nah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I go get that belt. I've never hit her with a belt, <laughs> but I feel like she needs one in her lifetime. She could be a little asshole, too. Mm. Uh, Where'd she get that from? Not me. Okay, good answer. All right. Uh, so, you said y'all were playing left, right, center at the old man house? Did yeah, you play? Well, I didn't play. How much money y'all play for? Well, we, it started out with dollars? $15. Everybody had three fives? I, I don't know how what they started with, but I ran to the store and got 15 ones. Okay, so y'all probably playing... Three ones. Probably. But I walked in and checked them out and went back out. You know, it's amazing to see my nep- my oldest nephew. I didn't know he had, like, homies like that. I never saw him. So, I ain't been, I'm not around that much, but I'm going to ask you because you brought him up and he graduated. How does he get a diploma? Like, where does that, uh, how does they, that work? They, they, they Who does he walk with? They get a GED. You know, he's From home homeschool. homeschool. But that's not a GD. It's a not. GD is different. You got has a high school diploma. Well, you got to sign for it, however it works. I don't know exactly how it works. He don't have it. He has a diploma, though. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. He don't have a GED. GED is different. Okay. Not not that they don't serve the same purpose, but what I'm saying, you have to enroll in a GED class. If he's homeschooled, he gets a diploma. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't know how that works. So he's done with school. He's done with school. He going to service or with college? Or? I don't, I'm not sure what he's doing there. I think he's going he to find another route. I was trying to take him out last night. Where you going to take him? Oh, shit, to, to the club. What club? He can't drink. He, psh, look here, man. Nigga walk around with them X's on his hands. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> when I first, when I turned, I was in high school at 18. My, son, my brother was, I took to the strip club on school night. Yeah, see? You wasn't going to take him now. Come on, man. No, nah, maybe not. I don't think Rand would appreciate you taking him now. He wouldn't because he, he goes to church. My nephew. You know, on his own volition. On his own. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's at church with his homies this morning. They all up at a at a water park in Baytown now. Yeah. And so my nephew, What's the name of it? I think I heard of it. Uh, uh, so, so, Pir- Pirates Bay. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
So, all right. Just but, I got some pictures of the boy just now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The yeah. boy. Yeah, I got it, boy. His mama didn't make him like that. They better. All them swimming lessons. Every time he get around some water with them, he got to put on a floaty or a vest or something. Yeah. So what's all them swimming lessons for if you're going to do that? Yeah. So no, oh, come with daddy. We're going to get some real action. Okay. Up in here. Living on the edge. I'll, de- I'll deal with it later. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, I went to a uh, Boogie's Barbecue a uh, few days ago. Chicago style barbecue. Chicago style barbecue. In the mo. In the mo. Go ahead. Saw fake butt now. That's good. I like them. I don't. I like looking at them like bingo in the car. Bingo. (laughs) Ooh, I spy with my two eyes. Exactly. (laughs) Man, it was like, come on, dog. And she thought she was toting. Oh, Oh. yeah. They they think they holding. I'm talking about wearing them tights. Oh, they going to wear some tights. They look see-through. Oh, yeah, they going to do that. I was like, baby, that booty ain't booty in. Dude, that's like getting a new car with the paper tag on it. You got to let everybody know. That is out of line. Who was your surgeon? <laughs> Get a refund. Pookie and them in the garage. God damn, man. Somewhere out for uh, West Belford. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, over there. <laughs> oh, man, that was rough, man. I was like, damn. And she was young, too. You could tell. It's like, man, she being influenced by the wrong shit. Was she a fat girl or thicker or was she slim and skinny? She was, she was like regular. Not She wasn't fat or skinny. It, once she, the thing about these girls that they don't understand, if you keep your body p- tight enough, not staying in super shape because it's kind of hard to do that if you're not into that. Once you have a baby or two and you hit 30, the weight that you want is coming. It's going to be there. <laughs> it's coming. Take your time. Chill. It's coming. Damn, with the fake ass, man. I'm I, I'm out, dog. I'll be glad when this era is over. Oh, yeah? I'm done, dog. Went to the Galleria when I when, back when I went and Nigga I said too much, too much drip in there, <laughs> too much ass in there, too much too much fake ass in there too, man. Them girls be killing me. They gotta they wear some like goofy glasses like Glorilla had on them yellow ones. Yeah, they wear them yellow ones. Uh, then they they wear some uh some tight shorts, some tight to show out their booty. Yeah. Then they had like some outrageous looking flip flop slides like they'll be furry or some type of big bubblish. And then they got a goofy looking cell phone cover on their iPhone. And they, and they long, 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 uh, long females, the eyelashes, uh, baby hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, got to do the baby <laughs> A hair, tattoo bro. like that's like coming out their ass that make you want to look like, damn. Oh, man, it's so disappointing. And, and they walk around with a nigga smelling like weed that ain't smiling. <laughs> <laughs> they got Bullying a grill. And everything. Yeah. Mad at everything. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> You I'm, can't make this shit I, up. I, man, I, I, they was doing that when we was kids too. Hey, bro. fuck all that, dog. But I never, I was never, I was always a happy ass dude, man. You, I wasn't gonna mug all the time. Yeah, I mean, ain't had, especially you mug, you fuck around and mug the wrong person. They might beat your ass. Then it'd be a problem. Yeah, yeah. They know who to mug, dog. Yeah, they but them little ones, like them niggas, them the dudes that are like five five, weighing one twenty. Them the dangerous ones. I, I appreciate what you did there. No, I'm trying to be, I'm being serious. <laughs> them little niggas is fucking, them you, niggas You call it shorter than me for a change. That, that, that's dope, man. Them right little on. niggas don't play. No, I know. Them niggas will shoot some shit up. Mm-hmm. Shit. Hey, got to do We had a little nigga named Little Mike. <laughs> this nigga, would, he would come down with a slab. Well, nigga, you ain't old enough to drive. What you doing? <laughs> but there was always this aura on him. Like, man, don't fuck with Little Mike. Let little Mike make it. Yeah, and so he just don't know where he lived. I don't. I don't know where he was from. Is he alive? I don't know. That Skippy song right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, nah, not that one. He liked that song from Texas. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little Mike was a, was a was a like a ghost. He show up, then he be gone. Show up in the Cadillac with them with them swangers on it. Well, who is that? He rolled down and went. Oh, that's little Mike. Yeah, but we don't ever see him no more. But either. jamming that street military. Probably. You know, that was what we did back then. All right. You taking a shot, dog? Was that a shot? No, I'm oh, okay. just saying that's what most city niggas do. All right. Just checking. Shit, nigga. <laughs> Talk about it. This is the Shoot from the Hip Show, 559-825-7468, 55825. Shot. shot. I reckon we don't have no breath. No, we got a lot of uh, spam. Okay, that ain't no fun. All right, this is Shoot from the Hip Show. Uh, and somebody want to make us a website. I reached they out. might I, need to. I, I reached out to one of them. How much did they say? Five hundred dollars. I didn't. I didn't. We didn't get to the price yet. Okay. All right. You ready to talk some news? Yeah, let's talk some news. Bang. 
while we get ready to talk some news, I got this. Translatable aims to serve as a community safe space for youth to express themselves through a number of creative outlets. Here at Translatable, we focus on communities of color, center the most marginalized, and emphasize the importance of parents and family. Translatable is also a resource hub for parents, families, and support system of the LGBTQIA youth. For our family, we were blessed to have a community of supporters and knowledgeable experts who could swiftly arm us with the tools we needed to support Zaya in her journey. We recognize the lack of digestible and relatable information available to youth and families, especially communities of color. And to this day, we are still learning. I'm so very proud of the daughter that I've had the opportunity to raise. She has been my biggest educator and inspiration of what it means to be true to you. That's why it's so important to create a collaborative space for the community to participate in the conversation and express themselves freely. You look disgusted. I'm so disgusted, man. Come Why? on, dog. Trans- Why? Translatable. Why? Because first off, that is a boy, Damon. Don't cut his dick off, Don't dog. cut his dick off, man. Yeah. Calling her that boy she and her. And, and see, what I don't like is how they try to, they cloak their real agenda under black and, and, and people of color and all that. No, mm-hmm. talk about what you're really talking about. Don't do that disenfranchised people of color, black, and all of this, and then try to slide LGBT element OP in there after that. Yeah. Plus. So come out with it. That's what you're talking about. Talk about that. Yeah. Don't ease us in on that. That's that bull, man. Mm. Ah, I'm tired of that, dog. So tired, tired, every time tired. I see this and it gets shared amongst text group, and everybody like, this nigga, man, what the fuck he doing, man? See, such, 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 such. All I'm saying is, and I had to tell a group of white boys this one time. Uh oh. They were standing on business. You know, hey. I don't agree with that. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> they, I think they were trying to say, like, health insurance should pay for, like, sex changes or something. It was something like that. Titties cut off or whatever. And uh, the only thing I'll say about people like Zaya is you don't know what they're going through. And their 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 identity is something we will never understand. So for Dwayne Wade, he can support it, or he can walk around pissed off all the time, and they could not have a relationship. You can support. So it. he can support it. There's a difference though. So there's two ways to support, like he's doing, or you could just say, "Hey, I'm still gonna mess with you. You do that shit on your own." There's also promoting it. You feel like he's promoting. He's promoting it. Okay, that's the bullshit. Let uh, I kids, just want to make sure you 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 on board with the support of your child. Support your kids, man. Okay, all right. But don't be out there pushing that agenda on us, man. Yeah, I I, I just and then like I said, people. I just know, man, people are so fragile with the way they're thinking and all of that stuff. And I, I just know that. I don't. You I don't. Can I don't sideline. Like you you can sideline or do whatever you call that when you kind of on the side saying what you should should not do, but and I don't agree with shit neither. I don't believe I would ever have any gay friends. I, that ain't something I'm. I, I, I can't do it. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. Amen. But I know ostracizing somebody or making them feel unwanted. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I would never support that. that. Yeah. I never support that. But kids ain't supposed to be making those kind of decisions. Let me ask you this: What if they want to sponsor the show? I'd be conflicted. Two million dollars. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Zaya sitting right here. <laughs> I try to strike a chord. And it's probably A minor. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. It's like, nigga, I, I, it, it does come across as like they pushing it. They want to be the face of it. Yeah, man, come you on, know. dog. Do every, that shit every, behind every closed Every time door. Zaya do something, she going on prom. Yeah, or, you got to be on the, on the cover of a magazine and shit like that. Yeah. We don't want to see that. Yeah. I don't see Gabrielle Union around do- like she was at first. I know she has taken a step back, and it's mm-hmm. probably uh, on purpose because she. But was I feel doing like she was much. the one pushing it in the she first. She was doing play. too much. We so. can jump in front of this, and they they, they probably took a, a you know a test of it and see like what's working and what's not. And she has this 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 attitude that's like you're kind of abrasive and not likable. 
Oh, she's not likable to me at all. No, and it's, she plays the same character mm-hmm. in every movie. The not, not likable, arrogant chick. Yeah. Ooh, I saw one of those to, uh, when I smoked brisket uh, last week. Uh, there was this girl at Willow Ridge. Her first name was Michelle. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, she was, her attitude was stank all the time. Just really? like she was better than us. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was in H-E-B picking up some brisket, and I saw her. By your house? Yeah. Okay. I was like, cause I ain't seen her since high school. And I, I said, that's her stank ass right there. It, came, it, all, it all came right back. No, we, we locked eyes for a second. And I just kept it moving. Damn. Yeah. No, Look at Mo City. Come on, man. Was she still holding? Was she ever holding? Yeah. Still holding? You're still holding. You should have asked. You should have no, called out. No, no. You should have said, hey, man, I got I didn't question. like her then. And I it, got it, a question it, to ask you. It wasn't going to change. Now, look, I know we was young and, you know, sometime mature. She was stank, Maturity dog. is a thing. You know, we had, none of us got it. But you was a cold motherfucker. You just looked a lot better. You just smiled and been a little nicer. Don't you tell no woman to smile. Why? Better not do that. Why? Oh, they don't like that shit. Why? Because, dog. Well, I used to do it all the time. Yeah, well, it, I guess it depends on who it's coming from. Like, if they if they like it. Yeah, if they like yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll let you say some shit. But hey, on, on GP, they mm-hmm. don't be telling no woman to smile. Yeah. Why? Why, nigga? You going to buy me a drink? <laughs> yeah. All of that. Yeah, I saw that, man. And she gave off that Gabriel Union mm. just to bring it back. Mm. Damn, I mean, you'd be cool if you wasn't so abrasive. Yeah. But, you know, that's how I'd be, man. All right. Uh, move along here and shoot for the show. Uh, 100 mile an hour winds hit Houston the other day. This is a straight line windstorm. Uh, now, it was it not a twice. Yes, it was not a tornado. It was called a derecho. Yeah. And the difference is a straight line windstorm a where the tornado actually turns in a, uh, a, a, a circular motion. Uh, it, it initially at four dead, I think it went up to eight. And left a path of destruction in the middle of downtown Houston. People have yeah. not returned that's to work. That's the one I was then. in. Right. Oh, that's why you lost power. Yeah. Yeah. So me and D Montrose, when we did our, our Instagram thing, yeah, he was in Clear Lake. Clear Lake. You out in Clear Lake, uh, and away from the house. So I uh, went to go get some batteries. And my old man said, Y'all got some weather coming. I said, All right. So I thought I'm gonna run to Walgreens real quick, get back before it goes out. Nah. While I was in Walgreens, the power went out there. We should have stole everything you could have ran out the uh, door. I ran out the door. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't steal nothing. Because <laughs> batteries expensive. Man, I got to driving, and the truck kind of lifted a little bit. <laughs> so I pulled up next to this building, got right up on oh, it. You know, you would lift some trucks up, man. Hey, what? <laughs> anyway, hey, it was, it, to be out there in the middle of that, hey, I underestimated the weather that was coming. And, uh, we this, all, we didn't see none of that cover. Oh, nigga, it, it happened in a major way. That was like wherever. Uh, that was like uh, Kansas, where Dorcas mm-hmm. from. It was like I mean, that. that shit came, boy. That shit wasn't playing no fucking. It went joke. down. I saw trees knocked down. Yeah, uh, one lady went out to move her car, so a tree wouldn't fall on it, and it wound up falling on it while she was moving. While and she, she was died. Moving it, yep. Yeah, she died. So that's some final destination shit. Right it there. was three yeah. to six inches of rain followed. Uh, four four hundred thousand students were out of school. Uh, 700,000 Houstonians were without power, which would be approximately 30% of Houston. And right. Cyprus really took it hard they as took well. took it hard. Yeah. So. Uh, my son's school was out of power. Mm. And uh, when it passed over, my old lady volunteered us to go clean up. How did that go? Oh, oh it, it, was, it wasn't as bad I as I thought. I can't wait to see them take a group photo and y'all be the only niggas there. It, well. It, I got to see it. It, it was kind of like that. <laughs> That's Marshall's parents. That's Marshall's dad. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey. like what, what gave it away? Here at this Catholic <laughs> school, we promote diversity. Yeah, we're diverse. See, see look that, at this one. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. With no friends. You know what's funny. Looking like get out. Yeah, well, I, you know, a couple of cats, you know, we shook hands and spoke a little bit mm-hmm. and all that. The pastor, he's an Asian cat from New Orleans. Oh, yeah? How about that? Mm. He came out and helped me move some branches and all that. Okay, yeah, I probably the same height. Well, yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You just gave me a pass on the short nigga shit, and now here you go. My bad. Anyway, man. Yeah, so yeah, that that, that first wave was a big one, dog. Mm-hmm. Then another one followed then a few another, days. The next few days later, man. God damn. I don't know what y'all out here in Texas doing, man. What you say y'all for? Like, like you're not here. <laughs> Thank God, man. 
All right, you ever heard of Jinkum? Yeah. You do? You know what that is? Not Jinga, Jinkum. Ain't that like a mix of nut and doo-doo? How you know about this? I don't know. I'm probably because of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I came across this some kind of way. So <laughs> You came you, across it? This, I, I guess this started in prison where you would let uh, feces and piss ferment. The human waste would ferment, and you would inhale the methane it, it <laughs> emanated from the human feces and urine. Nigga, that's it's bad it's living, dog. High. God damn, you serious? Yeah. What do you do, man? Put it in a bag and breathe it in? Hey, man, like I say, I've been watching this uh this thing on Netflix called Un- It's Unlocked, I think. Where it's a, a, a oh, that jail shit? Yeah. And they, they was in there making some shit, letting it ferment. It wasn't jinkle. You talking about the shit with the oranges? That's alcohol. I don't know. I think it was oranges. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get creative in there when you're locked up, dog. Yeah, dog. I saw a nigga do a, all kind of shit with an iron and a heat. He was he was using his the metal desk as a stove. He yeah, heated it up, and then he like made like an omelet or some shit. Yeah. Some type of crazy. I saw shit. I saw one one thing where he was heating up a sandwich with the iron. Yeah, hey, come on, man. You got if you got a, it's amazing you have an iron. In there. Yeah, that's type, dangerous. Any already. type of heating element set yeah. a fire in that bitch. Yeah. Uh, all right. So don't be snort sniffing boo boo. <laughs> Angel Reese, she signed with Reeboks, the Bayou Barbie. She oh, has her what? own custom shoe. Uh, She's in she Chicago went, now. She ain't the Bayou Barbie no more. She's still going to carry that moniker from oh, her okay. from her stay at LSU. Uh, she wanted to be the face of women's basketball for a clothing brand, and Reebok presented her with that. Plus, she said her relationship with Shaq helped as well. Well, that's, that's the LSU uh, sticker. Mm-hmm. That helped out. Because yeah. she's from, like, Maryland or something. yeah. But yeah, dog. Did you see her walking in them heels? Yeah, last I bet day. it looked terrible. It looked bad, dog. It looked like she ain't done it before. <laughs> Knees was all bent. Yeah. Like, yeah, she kind of had to like that. That's uncomfortable for her, dog. Oh, yeah, for all of them. Yeah, I want to see a win, though. I don't know. I've been, I don't I've, care if I think she's an ignorant-ass heifer. Oh, uh, well. I've been seeing Caitlin Clark catch it. Yeah, that's some Shout bullshit. Shout out to Alliteration. Uh, they, man, they let her ass have it. That's some, bull, that's some bullshit. And it is it's racism and ignorance to me. That's what it is, racism? Yep, jealousy. There's some ignorant black holes around here being mad at the world. <laughs> Are they nappy-headed? I didn't say they was nappy-headed. <laughs> I said ignorant black holes. <laughs> and uh, they feel like ain't nobody cared about the game because nobody really has until this white girl come out because she played like fucking Steph and Kobe. Man, Angel Reese started that. Nobody gave a damn about Caitlyn until that Angel Reese Angel Reese happened. is an ignorant ass heifer too. She the one brought Caitlyn Clark I Can to you imagine to being married to her? Which one? Well, you can't. But I can't either. But hold on, hold on. Angel okay. Reese. I'm just saying, like her attitude, the way she act, she don't know how to be a woman. Mm. She don't know. How, she don't know her place. Ooh. She around here snapping and and and, and doing all of the Ooh, ignorant shit all the woman time. Getting your place and fix me a goddamn sandwich. I'm just saying, like she too abrasive, dude. We just like what you said. Yeah, yeah. I can see her having a funky ass attitude all the goddamn time. Mm-hmm. She always seemed like she happy to me. I don't uh, know. She not. A, yeah, well, she doing her little. TikTok videos. Yeah. Showing showing out a little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's Reese told y'all women to get in y'all place. Well, okay. Y'all, y'all better know it. Oh, you want to talk about getting in your place? Hey, there was a commencement speech by the kicker of the Kansas City Chiefs. His name <laughs> is Harrison <laughs> Buckner. Now, That's a hell of a segue there. Yeah. Uh, usually commencement speeches at graduations are cliche and full of shit. But, oh, not this guy. Uh... This is a college called the, the Benedictine Catholic School College or whatever. Oh, it's Catholic And he school. called, Pride, he said Pride Month is bad. And he said that women were happy about jobs and not being a wife and a parent. He said some women should embrace being a homemaker. Mm-hmm. And fix me a goddamn sandwich. Yeah. That's right. I loved every minute of it. I think it was stupid and ignorant. I don't think that was a place for it. I mean, you have to really be at an ultimate level of, of jackassness to yeah. say some stupid shit like that. He's the kicker. Yeah. He's like, nobody he, knows he re- who you are. He, he really, really, really. He better not miss ass. next that, season. He better not miss. Man, he They going to be on his ass. They going to be on his ass. <laughs> what a dumbass. I just think it's stupid. And then it's like, 
why is the NFL apologizing? Bitch, because he played. When you are in the spotlight such as the NFL, they, they got to come out with a statement to say, hey, they don't share the views and stupidity and all of that. Mm-hmm. Either fuck half the league does. It don't matter. You don't want to be the – you're not trying to be the face of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. Well, he is a, a Kansas City chief. I mean, they are the kings of the hill right now. They are. So, I mean, he get a little bit of cash for that. Yeah, he kicked, he made he, he kicking he had a great season last year I think. Yeah, I think he made like the longest field goal kicking Super Bowl history or something, something like that. Well, all I know is that uh, that what, what is the, the the other league that's going on right now? The UFL. UFL. They got kickers knocking sixty and sixty five plus. What? I've seen it, and one cat did like three of them in a game. Damn, sixty yeah. something yarders, man, with ease. So these new kickers better, uh, I mean, these kickers that are up there right now better watch out. Mm. This, this shit look too easy. Are the balls different? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. So now how the hell are they kicking it like there's that? there's not as much pressure because there's not 80,000 people, people watch. screaming. and You know what I'm saying? They probably, mm-hmm. look, if they get 10,000 yeah. in the stands. So it's probably just not as much pressure. But nevertheless, it's still a long gap. Hey, man, I've been, I watched this dude do three of them like it was lunch. Yeah. I was like, who is this dude going to get a contract off of this? I got a partner at work teaching this kid to kick. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and most of us want to be the quarterback or the running back or the receiver. <laughs> no. The motherfuckers who get the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> hey, son, you go there and kick. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, that's money, though. What you talking it about? It is money. You don't think they get no tail? Not the kickers. Man, if he got some swag, he is. Yeah. Because, I mean, them prima donnas, I mean, they don't have, a lot of them are green, and they just getting ran, getting their money took from them. That's fine. These pros out here. Man. They're them getting motherfuckers. groomed by these pros out here. You niggas out there fucking motherfuckers that look like Lotto and Drea and Ice Spice. They passing the same Megan ones Stag. around, dog. It don't matter as long as that pussy get wet. Nah, you know niggas don't wear rubbers. No, nobody likes that. When you check in to the Illuminati, you don't have to wear rubbers no more. Oh, it's the Illuminati. Whatever it is. Celebrity, fame. Whatever. Them Diddy parties? <laughs> no Diddy, dog. <laughs> Shout out to the shirt, man. Yeah. Shout out to the shirt. Where you get that from? Internet. Okay. You don't want to shout out the website? <laughs> Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I can't wait to switch this drink. God damn. Well, nigga, knock it back. I hear all that ice jiggling in there. I like my shit a little chill. Nigga, it's hot. No, it's not in here. It's not. Nigga, it's not. You're right. This is comfortable as hell. Man. It is very comfortable. All right, uh, Glenn Davis, some of y'all know, uh, another, he's another LSU player. Big baby. Big baby. He was sentenced to 40 months of federal prison for defrauding the NBA's health care plan. Uh, this dumbass idiot right here, he said he was in Beverly Hills getting some dental work done for $27,000, but they uh, subpoenaed his cell phone and did the geolocation and showed he was in Vegas where he lives at the time he's supposed to be getting teeth work or dental work done. Damn. He had plenty of other false claims. Uh, you seen him lately? He's been goofing off online, saying I'm getting a lot of shape, no more cheeseburgers. But uh, yeah, he had a little run though, man. He did. He yeah, he was like a he baby. Said he last I heard he wanted to fuck Lizzo. He was on TV on internet saying, "Come on, Lizzo, I let me." Really? Yeah. He well, smoked a lot of weed. Yeah. Well, okay. I I can't put my finger on that. I don't. I don't I'm not gonna fat shame or nothing, but. I feel like if you get a hold of Lizzo and you do it right, you're going to have a problem. What you talking about? Getting her pregnant? No, not getting her pregnant. It's like getting away from her. Dude, I like Lizzo. That's the thing about it. And I don't think she should be fat shamed. She's just a big girl. I don't know why her weight makes everybody. She ain't healthy. No shit. Fat people are not no, healthy. Nigga. But it's skinny people that ain't healthy. It's her. She does the shit. She's the one come come off like... She's confident, don't care about her weight. What, you want her to be mad about and it? And then as soon as somebody You want her to be mad, something. she don't look like Beyonce. I want to stop crying on the camera. I want to stop doing that. Man, fuck, let her be who she is, no. dog. If you, if you turn the camera on and start crying, boo, get your ass That's out That's how she feel right now, dog. No. Don't get on the camera with it. It's you fake. want everybody to know, stop fucking with her. Her ass is fake, dog. She fake. She got she got them, uh, one of them booties that them fat girls have. Then they had a little thing at the bottom. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you call that, dog. That's like a. Like, I saw that on Instagram not too long ago. What is called? It's, 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 it's
<laughs> Damn, that's funny, boy. Oh, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Big Baby. Man, that's that's what three and a half years. Yeah, something God, like that. Damn. Ooh. Damn. Fuck that. Hey man, it's a lot of scammers in my neighborhood, dude. You know that? Uh, yeah, I saw one. You did? I saw one that he gave all scammer vibe. Big dude, old white dude like walking his dog without a leash. Shirt, next door? Shirt off. Not next door, just down the street. That's just fucking ignorant motherfucker does that. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's going to go bad one day with that motherfucker. Yeah, I yeah. He, he gives off like some, some fucked off vibe. In my gate? Yeah. No, there had to be this guy. Well, he, he probably was walking his dog. He's though. walking his dog. Big white That's boy him. had his yeah. shades on. Yeah, no, no shirt. leash. Like, oh, look big, at him. Big ass dog, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Somebody gonna yeah. get on his ass. Yeah, he he How far was he down the street? Man, he was uh probably about six, seven houses down when I saw him. He he fucking with somebody gonna write the right. Yeah. HOA I, I, I can see it. It's it's letter. coming with his ass. He's and thinking about it, he's a fucking asshole. He don't I believe, speak. I believe it. He He'll look like walk right by you like you ain't never like he, you ain't there. He looked like that. That's a that's a hard way to live, dude. When Man. you just walk around being an asshole all day. Yeah, that's privilege. Yeah. So uh if you if you can't benefit him, he ain't got no time for you. Yeah. That's that's what that looked like. Uh <laughs> anyway, uh you ever heard of Family Fair? It's a store in Michigan. So okay, no. I heard of Family Fair. There's a homeless 34-year-old woman. She was living inside the sign of a of a grocery store. Inside the sign? Yeah, she would open it and go in there. And that's where she lived. Shit, that's creative. I thought so too. Yeah. I want to applaud her. Hey, hey. Was it in the store? No, it was like it was like in the the little curb oh, with okay. the grassy area. And she just walks in there. Because <laughs> cause, uh, I obviously said if I was down bad, I'd just go live in the store. How you going to do that, dude? Or, or steal out the store. Well, I mean, the store got all the shit. <laughs> if you're hungry, if you're thirsty, go to the store. How are you going to do that? They got a restroom in there. How you going to do that, dog? Easily. Where you going to hide? When they're cleaning this motherfucker. Well, I mean, you got to be creative. Hey, you talking about a first place like H-E-B. They fucking stocking at night. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you go up in the ceilings if you can know how to get up there. They got to up. Every store has an upstairs. I can't wait for you to do this. Every store has an upstairs. Yo, I, I can't wait for you to pull this out. I'm just telling you. I'm, man, I don't plan on doing it. Well, I hope you go but broke so we can see. If it doing. happens, nigga, I, I know how to do it. <laughs> Why don't you just stay in the old man garage? Well, I mean, of course, that'll be the thing. I'm saying if I'm if nobody want to deal with me, I done used up all my favors. Go to the store. No. It's easy. Stop it, man. I hope I ain't lead nobody down the wrong path. I don't want y'all to get in no trouble out there. But you don't. If you're down on your ass, the store is right there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I saw this homeless cat outside this uh gas station by the old man house. Mm-hmm. Found out he uh he works in there. They they let him clean. Oh yes, yeah, so several guys like that. They walk around cleaning this shit. Yeah, throw him a little money to buy some more crack. But he was standing right in front of the store every time I went over there. There he was, just standing there. You might as well employ him. He just gonna stand there and start bumming money from everybody. Yep, yep. He know he never asked me for money. So. Oh, cause he got a, he got him a job. Well, that's it. I saw him in there sweeping up. I said okay. Then I saw there's another black entrepreneur on the end of the end of the thing. Right by KFC. A black entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, man. He was selling fragrances. Okay. That you spray in your car. Oh, I thought you were talking about them like, oils that you put on your like, body. Like, damn. You remember damn? That, that, uh-uh. It used to be the spray they used to sell, like Alfonsian and all No, that. I remember the BAM. I mean, that's, that, that's the auto detail. Well, yeah, that, yeah. That's the one that they thought hid the weed smell. Well, BAM. Uh, yeah, BAM. But they had a damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, this You one ever ate Spam? <laughs> this nigga's a poet. Yeah. I ain't even know it. Who about Rocket Man? <laughs> Hold up, man. Watch Jeez. out. We need a beat. Hey. How let ill ran. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I bought bought some shit off this dude, man. About three of them. It was three for twenty. Okay. You know. Shit works. She smell like you hiding weed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I got one for you. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I brought one for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom gave me some spray bottles. They come from uh, Bed Bath and Body Works. They're about this big. 
You spray one time. It's pretty good stuff. Bath and Body Works. I had a joke about that. I think I told it. Did you? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, t- still talking news here on the Shoot for Show. Yeah. Uh, Let's go with this. To reserve judgment until they saw him. Mm. They did see he was listed as 6'1". Mm. And they did see he had a 40.5 vert. Mm. But I was like, what would you do right now before he goes and plays? What would you do? And they said, we wouldn't draft him. Both of them said they would not draft him. I said, okay, let me give him a couple days. Let, let's see what happens in the, after they watch him play. Now, this is their take after watching him play. Scout one. I still don't think he's ready, but he did some good things. He's on the smaller side, so he's going to have to be elite on defense. You can see he has good vision, makes right passes, takes good shots. They'll probably, he's probably going to need more time. If the Lakers don't draft him, I don't see anyone drafting him. Hmm. Teams would be, want him on a two-way, and I don't think Clutch would want that. It gets a little tougher. The other scout I talked to, positional athlete, doesn't function as an elite athlete. Tweener stuck between two positions. Should be a point guard based on his size, but he can't run an offense. He's handicapped as an undersized shooting guard because he can't shoot. Mm-hmm. Zero four on threes on one day, one for three the other day. Needs screens to create space, and his only scoring came on paint touch floaters and can only go left. His strength is supposed to be defensively, but he's a switch matchup. Every bigger player who switched on him scored. He's comp a poor man's Davion Mitchell. He is not an NBA prospect, in my opinion. Not my words. Words of two veteran NBA scouts. Mm. Look. Ooh, he flamed that boy up. Flaming him out. Old Bernie James, he, entered the, he put his name in half of the Damn. draft. Uh, initially said he was going to keep his options open. After one year at USC, um, people thought he might just test the waters, but he like, he's definitely staying in the draft. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is some crock of shit they got going on, of course. And Stephen A. even called out. He went from the 98th ranked guy to now he's in the 40s. Uh, he's turning down workouts for teams, only working out for the Lakers and the Spurs. The stat- turning down workout. Yeah. Uh, he that bad. Yeah. I mean, this is another reason why I don't like LeBron. Uh, I mean, of course, like the guy said, uh, he's 6'1", not 6'4". And this two-way contract is what a lot of kind of G League players sign, some crap like that. I, I'm not from, too familiar. I got to read up on it. But he is turning that down as well. And I'm like, who the fuck you think you are, dude? Nigga, he's a James. Hey, that carries weight. I cannot wait till LeBron is out of it. I, it just, uh, I just get so sick of it. I don't know why any of his kids would have to work like that. No, oh, he daddy, always said he want to play with his son. Daddy got y'all set for life, nigga. The thing about it is, I think his son is going to play one year or two, and he'll be out of the league. Mm-hmm. When LeBron leaves, he's gone. Nobody going to fuck with him. Yeah. And he's just kind of making a mockery of the system. Uh, the nepotism is just just fucking ridiculous. Uh, this the same one that had the heart attack or some shit, right? Yeah. Like, man, nobody's, nobody's going for that. Well, He already showed he got issues. Yeah. Chill out, man. Go sit down somewhere, man. Mm-hmm. Your last name is James, and your dad is LeBron. Or LeBron, like, like my man likes to say. Chris Broussard. Chris Broussard. LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? You think he go into the Lakers? You think it's a good idea for LeBron to use all his fucking clout and pull to get Bronny into the league? Well, or mean, you think he should let him find his own way? Well, the second option is out. It's out. LeBron going to pull some strings get his kid in there. That's going to happen. It's and a he good said idea. the Lakers and the Suns. Even, how do they know the Suns want him? Man, I don't know. He, he's probably privy to some shit. I, I can't I can't call it there, man. But I think I think that it's inevitable that he's going somewhere in the league just based off his name. And they and either he they gonna be disappointed and they gonna sweep it under the rug, or he's gonna step up and show nah, y'all. They gonna come up with some. Oh, he got a leg injury. Mm-hmm. Instead of just saying the motherfucker sorry, he might have another another. Uh, Ooh, ooh don't say what's that. what's um Brunson. Brunson for uh, Knicks. Yeah, he was. They said he wasn't gonna be shit. Well, that boy been kicking ass. And yeah, and you know, look at look at him now. Yeah. See, Mike Brunny might do that. He ain't doing that. All right. I might be. I mean, don't, don't it, count him out now. 
So you saying he might have something. He might have something. Oh, look at this motherfucker right here. Uh, that sure oh. look light, light skin right now. That's a lightning. And that oh, bit of light they up. lightening her up, dog. That's the lighting, dude. No, I don't trust that. I mean, when you see her in person, she probably won't be that light. She ain't. She's a darkie. I don't like it. You don't oh. like it. She lost, she lost a lot that's, of that. That's Illuminati. Dang. All right. Hey, this is the Shoot From Hip Show. We've been going for quite a while. What you think? Oh, yeah. Hour and some change. Hour and some change. And I ain't got to edit this bitch. That's right. So uh, we'll be back after a short break. We hope y'all join us, get back in the lab. And uh, just give us some ammunition, some ammo, so when we do get back in lab, we can hear from some of the guys that are still fucking with us. This is Shoot From Hip Show. We'll be right back. so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom but i make no excuses my behavior on that video is inexcusable i take full responsibility for my actions in that video i'm disgusted I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I had to go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Damn! Damn, Diddy. No Diddy. Diddy, Diddy. No Diddy, dog. <laughs> Round here apologizing, dog. No, it's too late. It's too late for that. <clears throat> that shit's done. Nigga, that was evil with yeah, I was. didn't know he's capable of that. Well, I mean, I remember him in an interview saying, well, at, telling people why he always wore shades in an interview. Why? Because he didn't want people to see his eyes and see into him and see who he really is. He said that in a very, he was like, wow, you really just said that. So at that moment, I said, oh, that's the dog nigga. <laughs> <laughs> The way he's playing that, so oh, he dark. Okay. And then I start hearing about the other shit. Mm. After that, I said, like, yeah, I knew it. When he said he didn't want to, he wore them shades to protect himself. Yeah. Come on, man. I thought you would just hate the blockers. No, dog. People, people, look, they see you. They see what's in your eyes, dog. This is what kind of person you are. That's yeah. that's how I gauge shades sometimes. Mm. Or most of the time. I look at that. Nah. There's an aura there. All right. Uh, well, that uh, Diddy is responding to everybody finding out how much of a fucking asshole he was. Uh, mm-hmm. CNN released the hotel surveillance footage. This is from years ago. Uh, you know, I huh. <laughs> was he at the the healing? The, 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 what was he getting? Some some counseling, rehab, probably, or probably from Russell. He looked like he was in Bali. Some day. Like he, that's where he was at. Nigga, you're not hurting over there. Yeah, I mean, Get out uh, of here. yeah. Uh, so that's rehab, nigga. Hey. <laughs> okay. So going from the the guy who we saw, you know, start a, a empire in music. Mm-hmm. He was a mogul. Uh, he's one black billionaires in the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. He's one of the people that made shit go or not go. A uh, very a lot a lot of power in the industry. Uh, gave us several songs. I saw I saw him in concert. At the height of his fame, No Way Out tour. I went to that tour, that concert. Well, your brother was a bad boy fan, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. he used to wear me out with that. So, yeah, because you just want to listen to that Rota out there be pissed off. No. All right. I just didn't like bad boy like that. They had Biggie. And then what? The Locks. 112, Mace. The Locks wanted to get the hell out of there. You yeah. saw what happened to Mace. Mace was 112 is, eh. I thought it was jamming. The rest was Biggie. I said it was great, but they were jamming though. No, no. Yeah, was, was after after doing? Biggie Shaq. passed, man, Diddy couldn't make nothing to shake. Damn. Cardi looking good right there. Who was that? Cardi B. Oh. A lot of fake shit going on in that video. Yeah, it is. Well, I can't wait she get 
50 and that nasty ass tattoo gonna be on her leg. Hey, N- Nikki already sagging back there. Nikki looks fucking stupid. It's sagging back there, dog. All right, but uh, back on this Diddy thing. Uh, so w- where does he go from here? He done? Yeah, for for a good 10 years, easy. 10 years? He'll be in the 60s then. Yeah, sit it down. You Guess know, what? Chill out. Did you hear that song his son made? Uh, shooting at going at 50 or going at I heard it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta walk that back too. Yeah. It came and then went. You searched the you searched it, the wrong house. It came and went. Yeah, that's that shit. was stupid. Very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes just shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, you forgot to look under the match at the other house. <laughs> yeah. And you don't know what the other shit was. Yeah. Uh oh no. You think he going to prison? No. No. They ain't got no crimes on it, man. He's just nasty. Hey, well, that is, he's rumored to uh, be fucking Saucy Santana. Saucy Santana say he got a baby coming. <laughs> yeah, I saw a post from he, a woman. He or he pregnant? I don't know. He posted a positive uh, baby pregnancy test on Instagram. <laughs> like from who for what, dude? <laughs> hey, he gonna come out one day. The, the funniest thing that I ever saw in one of his videos. And the he told me he walked the man like a dog, and he walking the man on yeah. the train. Yeah. Uh, the man that agreed to be in that video, like where you get these niggas from? Hey, they had no positive male role models in their life. I don't think that do. I think he's just gay. No, dog. Even if you just gay, you're not doing that. Are oh, you talking about the men degrading yourself? Oh, like yeah, that? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. dog, no. Hold up, did, did you pull up already? And I missed it. I had to finish the shit for the other bottle. Oh, okay. I was waiting on you. Right, go ahead, go ahead. You've uh, had Willis before. That yeah, ain't, I have. That ain't breaking news right there. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, I, I hate it. I hate. First of all, I was a Diddy fan, and when I heard all the rumors and the, the initial lawsuit, I didn't believe it. And the next person that comes out with some with some claims of abuse, I have to see it to believe it. Slim Thug apologized, and I apologize as well. Uh. To whoever. I don't know who I, I need to apologize to. But I will say I I I am appalled and he's a fucked up nigga, dog. And I do hope he get whatever's coming to him. That yeah. was fucked up. The way he kicked at that girl. And not only that, yeah. He this girl was so young, half his age. They had no business being together in the first no. fucking place. No. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's like your daughter dating like a somebody our age. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? You know I reflected you know, on that. You know how powerful the mind control you have over a young person, but go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I was reflecting on that. I was like, what if that was mine? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you know, you want to, you don't want to be a victim to to the moment, because right in the moment, dog, I was gonna throw my life away if I'd have been a witness to that mm-hmm. and knew who did it, knew how to get to him. Yeah, I I just lose it. I had, yeah. had to deal with it later. Mm-hmm. You know, but not, you know, you you throw your life away. Getting that revenge, and now now you're stuck in to jail. To them big old flip flops, talking about furry. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But you throw your life away, and now you're gone. And if it's some shit like that happened again, what you gonna do now? You yeah. stuck. Yeah, got to be smart about it, man. But I get it. I get it. If 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 a father loses his mind, mm-hmm. goes to handle that. Yeah, I don't think nobody be mad at that. Supposed to, to mob up like boys in the hood. Mm-hmm. Just gonna strap up and wait, nigga. Yeah. I got a nine foot nine millimeter. All that. Ethica 37 12 gauge side shotgun with a five pound slide, nigga. You think so you think the next group of thoughts, you think they ready to be Diddy's next baby mama? For the fame, the attention. Well, I mean, I, I, I think not, maybe I not think, baby mama. Now I will I will say this. You saw young Miami. I will say this. Now, this is where y'all gonna be side on me again. <laughs> I don't think Cassie has no regrets. Do I think she wanted to get beat on? But the fame, she wore the finest of fashion. She she never had a job. Ate the finest of foods. Ate the finest of foods. You know? Traveled to the finest of places. Yeah, first class. Yeah. You know, just had to get pissed Fle- on. And, flew the finest of planes. And trains ran on you a little bit. I mean, you know, you don't never want a victim blame. I'm not victim blaming her, but I'm telling you, I don't think, I think she got out of what she thought she was going to get out of it. She didn't make a hot album at all. She, it never came out. If it yeah. did, she made that one song when she was out. doing the flash dance. 
And I think a lot of girls, it, uh, ignorant as it sounds, would, 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 would take that. If I take this ass with him a little bit and tough it out, and then I can sue him and get a settlement later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they think ahead like that. <laughs> hey. Sometimes. I mean, I, I've never been in that position. I can't, I can't call it. But I've seen it before. Yeah. You know, I've seen the girl deal with some shit just because there's a bag at the end of that. Just Britney? Uh, Janet Jackson. Who from who? She married some some billionaire from oh, Asia or somewhere. That's what she had the bag with, right? It was a five year marriage. And that's all it was supposed to be. Ain't that a bitch? I'm gonna marry you for five years and then you get this money and go and do what you wanna do. Yeah. She took the five year challenge, dog. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Let us know y'all thoughts on the Diddy, uh, Diddy, Diddy, do it, uh, no Diddy, uh, and all the other kind of shit. We got another video. All right. This whole mess with Diddy, he just started trending again after he was exposed for sleeping with Saucy Santana while he and Young Miami were together. Apparently, Santana was one of the paid. That Diddy was sleeping with at them freak off parties. People believe this is where Saucy Santana is getting all the money to fund this extravagant lifestyle because his music career isn't nearly successful enough to fund his extravagant lifestyle. Diddy had his eye on Saucy Santana right from the day that Miami brought him around, and he didn't stop till he had Santana in his bed. There's even some speculations that he would get freaky with Saucy Santana with Miami in the room. What's even crazier about this? is an old song that Saucy Santana put out recently resurfaced where he blatantly confessed to these allegations. Child, Diddy never ceases to surprise us, does he? Okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, it's really not a secret that Diddy's on the DL. He's been exposed over these last few months for hitting on boys and flying them out to different countries to clap them cheeks. A lot of us came to know about this when 50 Cent put Diddy on blast for trying to make him one of his boy toys by offering to take him on an all-expense-paid shopping spree. The pop was like, yeah, like, first he was amping him to get started. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so, yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out. Nigga, we gotta, we gotta oh, kick that. it. This is pop. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it, and he was like, yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I paid for it, and I was like, <laughs> These rumors got even worse when Diddy was caught taking YK Osiris on a vacation to Jamaica back in 2021. These rumors started when YK posted a very seductive photo of Diddy shirtless in the pool on his IG story with prayer hand emojis. It was almost like YK was worshiping Diddy and being grateful for something. He later posted a photo of himself getting a massage while laying down naked with the caption listening to that diddy eating good fruit in the beautiful weather not only that but he also posted this since deleted photo of him seductively leaning in to eat a bunch of fruit that people believe was taken by diddy a lot of people felt like it was really strange and accused him of being diddy's new boy toy one person said i said to myself the moment i didn't see no female or a hint towards him even being with family. I knew it was a man who sponsored the trip. I was watching all of his stories of him showing himself alone in the villa. He was not there with a woman or working or even with his family. My gut said he's acting like a female who is on a paid trip and taking videos and photos to savor the moments. I thought off the top of my head it was an exec for sure. Didn't know it would be Diddy. Another person said that first <laughs> hey man, it's all it's all out there now. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Oh shit. Uh talking more fucking crazy shit. Uh this is the fucking second shoot for me up show. Uh Snoop's wife uh, is opening a strip club based ah. on a theme from uh the Players Club movie's gonna be called Players Club. Yep. Uh, and she said she they it's trying to be the new the next Magic City. Look at that. Magic City West is in L- L- LA. I guess she's trying to be whatever that was to Atlanta back in the day. You ever day. been to Magic City? I went to Blue Flame. I went to Magic City. I got no interest in going to them stupid ass places. Hey, that shit was a club. Just had holes in there. Naked. Yeah. It, but it was really a club. Yeah. Chicken wings, niggas. 
Yeah. <laughs> you was in that with your kin for the living the A? Yeah. Okay. Would you go back? Was yeah. it worth it? At the yeah, time? I mean, it was cool. I mean, it's not something I fly out of town for, but if I'm there, yeah. I, hell yeah, I go there. I can't see you in no strip club. I mean, I'm cool. Yeah. You know, I, I might, I might, Wayne. I throw a little money here and there if I see something like, I, I, I'm, I'm impressed by the acrobatics and shit they do on the pole. So I told my wife I got a lap dance the other day when I was in Tampa. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I, I, I thought I told you I went to the strip club. I know you got a lap dance. Okay. Well, yeah, at least you told her. Black.com. Hey, whoa. Ooh. And she got in there and worked that post. I'm serious. Nigga. I like. I ain't never seen no shit like that before. That guy had one in San Antonio, dog. I might as well took her to the room. Oh yeah, and went. That's how it went. Mm. That's why I'm gonna leave it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I sure was waiting. Uh-uh, nothing else. Hey, did you see the Tom Brady roast? I did, dog. What you think, man? Look, it was uncomfortable a couple of times. Yeah, it? it was. But uh, that's what a roast is. And Kevin Hart showed out. He, uh, said, he said, "Get the get get it uncomfortable early." Yeah, he's this called the greatest roast of all time. Uh, but Tom Brady recently did some interviews where he said it had a very negative impact on his kids. Yeah, he got old enough kids where they 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 get to hear the backlash from that. Uh, he said he vows to be a better parent because of this, and he <laughs> I gotta say, what did he think this shit was going? When did he think? It was gonna I don't happen? know what he was thinking. He must have got a payday from it. Oh, oh, thirty million from that. No, oh, all right, all right then. that's what he was thinking. Yeah. And fuck them kids. Yeah. <laughs> hey, split it ten million a piece. It. And then he finna go be an analyst. Yeah. Come on, man. Get in that bag. The bag, nigga. Kids be all right. <laughs> they damn sure will. And rub some thousands on that on that on that wound you got. Mm. Yeah, you be straight. Did, so, uh, who stuck out the most to you? Oh, I man. got. The, I thought the gate chick did pretty well. Uh, I don't know why Tom Brady didn't want him to tell those rap. That one guy tells Robert Kraft crap jokes. He told him don't do that no more. You know what stuck out to me? How shaky Robert Kraft was. Oh yeah, he's old. He's Did you see that shake when they had him go up there and take a shot? Yeah. With, uh, Bill, uh, what's his name? Belichick. Yeah. And he spilled some of that shot. <laughs> that hand, <laughs> that hand was shaking. I say, damn, he gonna shake all the shot out of him. Yeah. That I mean, white girl did a good job. Glazer, yeah, she, she did glazes. a really good job. Yeah, she's a <laughs> yeah. she's a good looking woman. Yeah, she uh, black dot com, she, she pretty good. She is pretty Ooh. good. Oh, uh, I don't know if I had a uh, grunk made me laugh. He did because he was awkward. Yeah, and so it wasn't necessarily he was hitting punch lines. He was just funny to me. Yeah, yeah. You know who could who they could have kept? Who's that? Ben Affleck. Yeah, get his ass out of here. He didn't belong there. He's from Boston. I get it, but it didn't work. He's from Boston. He's a Sox fan. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't talk with that accent very often. He he's an actor. He don't have, you know, he, yeah. he he just fucking don't live there. I saw a Boston commercial way back in the day. And uh, all the, the Boston actors came by and they and he started talking like that. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Okay. You know who they should have had on there? I do not know. It's uh Bill. Burr. Burr. Oh, that would have been good. He would have told that bitch that. And Bill Burr's a fool. Yeah. I like Bill Burr. Yeah. Uh, Jim Jones got into a viral fight at the airport at the in airport. Fort Lauderdale. Uh, he's coming down the escalator. I, I guess these guys have changed words. Mm-hmm. And uh, the police intervene. Jim Jones telling them, hey, they jumped me. Whack gets a hold of this video, instantly <laughs> says, that's snitching. Yeah, he says that snitching. He said, "You, you, you go to jail, bond out, and let your lawyer. You don't, t- you don't say nothing, ever." No, no. He said, he said, because Jim Jones claims to be some nine track gangster blood, and he uh, said, he he said that I ain't know that people always say the stuff that we saying is stupid, but you sign up for it, so it's irrational. Y'all don't understand it, but he's snitching. No, nah, dog. Look here, man. If I if I get jumped by some dudes, and it, he looked like he handled them eh, in there, he didn't handle them like that. I mean, he he, he didn't get his ass whooped. I'll say that's that. what I'm saying. If you get jumped and you don't get your ass whooped, that's true. Come on, man. And then they coming at him because he the black guy. Yeah, yeah. I would say, hey, man, they jumped me. What you talking about? Yeah, I'd have said that. Oh yeah, yeah. Say, hey, do what you want. They started it. 
Yeah. That's it. Mm. You know, Wack 100, <laughs> he got to go, dog. I, and you know, he, and you know these niggas in Cali, they kill everybody. But that this motherfucker says the crazy shit, and he just keeps walking around like. Well, man, somebody got he's in somebody's pockets, dog. Yeah, ain't no way the shit he does gets a pass like that. Man, he's something else, dude. You know, he fucking with no jumper. Yeah, yeah, for right and, now, and that's already some fuck shit. That is, I hate that they go on this clown's platform to spew. He got all these ignorant motherfuckers on there, you know. Yep. Uh, just and they just he just making money out of black people saying dumb yeah. shit. Vlad, Vlad is better than him, but Vlad the same. I, I, there needs to be a, a but I again, Vlad. The thing about Vlad, Vlad talks to people that I want to hear from. Yeah, on my only issue with Vlad before the black shit was that he well this is after. As a matter of fact, he started talking about his shit while he's interviewing somebody. It's like, dog, we watching this video to hear the person you interviewing. Not you talking about yourself off camera where nobody the, sees you. So to me, once you start having recurring guests and their story is out there, I feel like it's a conversation. Okay. You know, I now get, I agree I, with I, what you're I, saying because I, I see some people saying that, you know, but at the some time I look at mine, it's just a conversation between two people. I can see that. Well, put and, your uh, face on there then. Uh, Why are you talking behind the camera? You like that like one that? with Eric Spears? You got it going? You know, I've seen a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, you got some new ones out? Well, they got this thing where they together. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a, I guess they call it a podcast or some shit. I haven't seen that. Yeah. So it's just but like, like it's Spears, like we doing. Though. They're sitting both sitting in okay, front of the Okay, that's new to me. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah. I like Eric, I like Eric Spears, though. Yeah, me too. Man, I saw Jay Farrow do a, a he was really? Gen, on Jennifer Hudson. He's not that show. funny to me. But his his damn impressions. Yeah, they are good. Oh, he he killed it. Yeah, he did Mike Epps. And I never heard nobody do Mike Epps. Really? He killed the Mike Epps one, dog. I might check that out, man. I'm telling you, he did it on Jennifer Hudson's show. And I was like, damn, I ain't never heard nobody do Mike Epps. Okay. But see, he I'm pulled it Check off. that out. Uh, Shaq and and Uncle, Uncle Shay Shay, uh, they had it going back and forth. Uh, Shaq interviewed. Uh, Nikola Jokic, because he had got his third straight MVP. Yeah, and Shaq started the MV, started the conversation off like, "Hey, like you don't deserve, to, you know, somebody yeah. else played better than you this year." Yeah, and which I thought was some sucker shit, but he took it. You know, Jokic took it. Yeah. So on his show, uh, Shaq was like, "Hey, the thing about it is, he's jealous of Nikola Jokic because he has more MVPs than mm. him." And then. Uh, he goes on to say that if Shaq would have worked harder, then he would have yeah. had that, that the same run. So Shaq didn't like that. It's, it's documented. Even Kobe wanted him gone because of that. That Shaq didn't work as hard as he should. And Shaq was a great center. Mm-hmm. And uh, at this point, I wouldn't take Jokic over Shaq. But if Jokic keeps it up, hey, you never know. He got to win three, at least three, two, at least two more to be considered up there with the greatest big men of all time. Yeah. But he does have those MVPs. And part of it is there's not many people that size down low banging like that. Yeah. That get the ball and able to do shit with the ball. Yeah. So maybe that's why. But, and his team is winning. But uh, Shaq and Shay Shay, Shaq went ahead and released a diss song. Did you hear it? Uh, I think I did hear that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's hard to dispute Shaq's dominance when he was playing. Yeah. That's but why. His- that's why he didn't work that hard. He had a natural gift, man. Some shit you can't work, height and weight. Yeah, he had that over everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, Elijah one had to school him. You know, you know, give him some game a little bit, work him up a little yeah, bit. Come on, young. I mean, you big and everything, but just get come get this work. Yeah, you know. But he went on and he got once he brushed that off, dog. It was off. Mm-hmm. You know, so I get it, man. But Shaq, Shaq's one of the ones you can't, you can't. He couldn't hit a free throw. That used to, uh, you know, frustrate me a little bit. I mean, everybody you look at how big he is and how small the ball is in his hand. Everybody in the NBA is supposed to be able to shoot free throws. That's my thinking. No, everybody's supposed to know how to do that. They can't. But you know, I'm gonna tell you why. The league has been a league for forever, and big men naturally ain't the best shoot free throw shooters. Let alone somebody that dunks for a living. Well, I guess I was spoiled because I was watching the large one. Yeah. He can make free throws. I think I was spoiled because of that. Yeah. 
And man, I went, I went down a large one rabbit hole a uh, couple of days. I do that ago. every once in a while. Oh, man. Witness the greatness again. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't old enough to get out there in it. Oh, yeah. I was just, just too young to get out there and enjoy 93, 90, or oh, 94, 95 like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We wasn't able to get out in the streets like that. No, I wish I was, though. All right, hey, we appreciate y'all for joining us on another episode of the Shoot from Hip Show with D. Montoya and myself, D. Reese. Uh, Keep fucking with us, man. We're going to keep pumping shit out. Uh, we we going to do the, wanna do the Instagram thing again? Yeah, we can do that again. All right, we're we going to do the, the uh, I guess my wife asked us because I was watching uh, Shay Shay's, uh, what do they call it, After Hours or yeah. whatever he does. With, with, uh, with, with Ocho? Yeah, with Ocho. Yeah. He said, why y'all don't do that? I said, we did do it the other day. So, yeah, we did do it the other day. If you saw it, uh, you know, at the end a little early. But it was pretty cool because we got to smoke. Yeah, they, they ran me off, man. Yeah. So uh, be look be on the lookout for one of those. The phone number's still the same. Yeah. Instagram still the same. And Facebook the same. The X book, the X formerly known as Twitter is still the Email's same. Email still the same. Email still the same. Get at uh, us. Where some of our uh, long time listeners at? And if you're new to the show, let us know you're listening. As always, when we send the videos out, shout out to Hoop Official. He still hits us. Okay, cool. Uh, like, share, and subscribe all yeah. the time. Uh, got oh, man, thing? Corey. Oh, Corey, keep fucking with oh, us, man. It, so. And we appreciate it. We got. Oh, that's it, man. Man, you know, just coming, just coming off the vapors. The uncle's passing. Yeah. So I'm still dealing with that a little bit. All right. Pray for the Montoya and his family. Let's shoot for the show. We holler y'all next time. It was everything I said it was gonna be plus a little extra Chuck deuces out the roof, it's just something we do dying in text We'll see you when we see you when we hope it's this episode And if you enjoyed the show, you can definitely let us know Just hit us up, 559-825-SHOT That's 559-825-7468 Or you can hit us up on the email if that's more your taste Then shoot from the hip one at gmail.com And let us know your take Subscribe to the show on all platforms From Apple to Spotify or wherever else Shoot out the slides and hit us on the web and shoot from the hip. That XYZ. Now let's not sleep, cause this not free. All support is greatly appreciated. Of course, we like the kind of bow, but if it jingle, then it's great. And if you got some love for us and some extra plate duckets, then please don't forget to hit that beautiful donate button. I'm gone.